make Haltom City thrive again, Ron Sturgeon wants to bring all the businesses back to Haltom City and to make it easier to start a business in Haltom City. A fierce advocate for small businesses, Ron always says their struggle is real. Ron wrote a book on the topic, Keeping the Lights on Downtown in America's Small Cities, the critical role small businesses play in bringing back jobs and prosperity. Please request a free autographed copy if you live in Halton City. It's received over 25 star reviews on Amazon. The book gives many more details about the things we're going to discuss in these videos. You can learn more about Ron's efforts at his Facebook page, Make Halton City Thrive Again. These videos are to help voters so they can make an informed choice in the next election about who is going to lead and bring solutions for the city. Thanks for watching, and I encourage you to watch the other videos posted. And most importantly, make sure you vote in the next election as we strive to bring back prosperity to Altam City's declining areas and corridors in the central and southern parts of the city. We need pro-business candidates to serve on the City Council. If you're interested in helping or serving, reach out to Ron for more information. Let's talk about the relationship between the city and the business community. Do you feel like city leaders understand the situation that business owners face? No, and there's a few disconnects. The first disconnect is they make it clear that if you don't live in the city, you don't have a seat at the table. We'll pass ordinances that make you do this and make you do that. You won't even get to have any input. Uh, the mayor ha has public hearings, but it doesn't allow anybody to speak. Cuts you off if you're saying what you don't want, what he doesn't want to hear. Uh, and I, I believe that's just a huge disconnect. I think the business community should have a seat at the table. They don't have to have a vote, but think of all the knowledge in the business community and the council doesn't even get to hear any of that. Mm -hmm. And how do we go about improving that? Well, there are several things that have to be done. The first thing is the city council needs to come to the awareness that it's important that they listen to the business community. I mean, we all know the business community, uh, you know, their, their self-appointed spokesperson, Jason Steele, would say, well, all the business community wants to do is fleece our property owners and, and, and create more revenue for their businesses. And I think I would agree with him. And I think that's what they're supposed to do. And I think that's why they are here. And I think that's what makes the business stronger. And so I don't think we should be critical of the businesses because they create more revenue. Ron, elaborate a little more on that. Well, you know, if we're gonna demonize the business community, we've started at the wrong place. We need to embrace the business community. And having more business will make more products and services available to the community which we desperately need, and we need those corridors to improve. We'd like to have a Starbucks on Denton Highway, but until we get 32 more small businesses open and make that corridor look better, we're not gonna get a Starbucks or a grocery store like everybody wants. And we may never get a grocery store, I can't speak to that, but we for sure won't get a grocery store with a decrepit corridor. Now the other big disconnect, in addition to them demonizing the business community, is that they don't understand that the processes and things they require of the business community to come and start a business are so onerous that they don't come. They just go to Fort Worth or they go to North Richland Hill. I know that, uh, that uh, they say certain types of, they only want certain types of businesses. I talked to somebody last week that uh, was trying to sell their property and uh, it was an automotive tune-up garage or something and a person that was wanting to buy the property and the business uh, went up to the city and the city said well you can buy it and we can't tell you for sure but we're almost certainly we're not going to give you a CO to continue what he was doing because we won't retail in that space right and again retail's not coming not in any meaningful way it's going away and we need small specialized little businesses that Amazon can't steal their business and service businesses and Will some of those be automotive? Perhaps. 
I don't know. People say I'm the advocate for automotive businesses, and I do like automotive businesses, but we need all small businesses. We need that dry cleaner, that swimming pool company. And you know, uh, recently I said, we're never gonna have a four day tire store. It's a public company. They run a really stand up kind of business. Never gonna have one. Not allowed anywhere in a commercial corridor in Halton City, even with a variance. Not allowed. And we've gotta fix some of those things and stop demonizing the business community. 